<laughs> so uh, it's nice to be here and welcome to Win. Um, there is never a dull moment at Win, and, and it's nice that we had the chance to be in the presence of wonderful Teresa introducing us and Andrea, that with his first piece that he's composed for us right here, right now, we could get into a meditative state. And then seconds later, we are moving our bodies. So with that, I think you got a taste of what's ahead of us also over the next days. So I know that the power of wind is the power of the collective. So each and every one in, of us in this room has so much power, so much experience, so much knowledge, such big hearts to bring to this experience. So I ask all of you to own that also, that each person, woman, man, young or older, has this potential. And when we are together here at Wynn, I ask you also to be particularly open. In the early days of Wynn, we couldn't do that dancing thing until the very end of the event. And some people were standing back in the room, you know, like, are they really moving? Isn't this a business conference? But the thing is, <laughs> Part of my vision was a little bit like, I don't know if you've seen this picture, Leonardo da Vinci has a good drawing, the Virturian man, you know? So I was thinking, hmm, how about the Virturian woman, the Renaissance woman, you know? So she's, uh, <laughs> she's the scientist, she's the artist, you know, she's rooted to the ground, to the sky, and she's a whole woman, she's a whole man. Yeah, she can do her, analytical spreadsheets, if you like. She can work in a bank. She can be a mother. He can be a father, a brother, a son, a sister. And we can be artistic. Maybe it's in the kitchen making food. Maybe it's painting. So we have all of that. And I want us to own all of that also at work. And that if you like to move, whether you, if you even have an impediment, you know, maybe move a little bit like this. Or we move, you know. Or when it's beautiful music that we use that time to present ourselves, that we are also present. So that's a request I have for you too, that these days let's really honor them. Not everybody could come to win either this year. There were some travel freezes by some companies. There were some people that had too much on. But those of you in this room, all of you, all of us chose this moment to be together for yourself, for the others here, and for the ripples that we are um, sending out, and also the action we will take. So this is something to also bear in mind. So when we are together, if you find your mind wander, you know, get yourself back into present moment. And one of the things that always helps me is that I always feel my feet on the ground, that I have like roots underneath my feet. You can feel it right now, you too. And if you don't do that, you know, but imagine. So then we're always grounded. And we take deep breath with our belly. And this way we present ourselves in the busyness. So, yeah, so that's, we can continue to do it today. We have the music also. But I want to share some of the things that came to me in the early days of WIN and that I see today as one of the key aspects also of leadership today. So as the Roman buildings that you know in the central Rome, they have these pillars. And that's a structural part, it's what we can call maybe the masculine part, maybe the feminine part, the creative part, the things are moving. So the structure of win is based on certain pillars. And one is that everything we do is global. And that's the part also that encompasses diversity, equity, and inclusion, let's say, in the corporate language. But it means that everything we do also has to be global in the sense of all of us, but also that we are particularly considerate and we try to mix with different people. So maybe you mix with someone that's older than you, younger than you, from a different country, from a different companies when you're here, because building those capacities of being a real global human in this moment is very important. So it's one of our pillars. So that's why we choose to have a team of different people, speakers from different countries, different backgrounds when we come together. We have another pillar which is all about authenticity. So when we come together, we try also to work on who am I? 
And we have had some, uh, I will ask you also to continue to ponder on that when you are here too, when we are together. Because perhaps things come up for you when you're meeting so many different people or in this high uh, inspiring environment. So reflect on that. Spend time in the morning or in the evening. Maybe your journal is a very good occasion to do that because a lot of energy is moving around in this room and, and that's a great occasion. So who am I? And where am I? And how does the environment in which I am impact on how you are and who you are? So this is something to say. Third pillar is state of wholeness, the feminine and the masculine. We want to have pillars and structure, but we also want to move in this flow of life. And we want to give value to both our intuition, to our heart and to our mind. So all of this is valuable. And we also know that the world is interdependent. So everything you do matters because how you do one thing has ripples out and attracts in something. And that's important. So be aware of, be awake to that, you know. So, and then they're looking for possibilities. At WIN, we don't want to stay victims. So when I started WIN also, we started work with women. Of course, there are a lot of things that are unfair. Unequal pay, there's a lot of abuse amongst women, there's a lot, or on women. So a lot of really sad things, actually, and the world is still not an equal place. So we come together because we want to empower each other, we want to inspire each other, we want to change the systems, and we want to change ourselves. And we want to focus our mind and ourselves on what is possibility, what, of the possibilities. So instead of staying in the victimhood, we want to focus on what's possible, and that's why we want to hear the stories of how we overcome difficulties, okay? So that's another thing. And we want to be creative. We want to be the artists of this time, creating the new solution that the world is so, so much needing at the moment. The more I travel the world, because this started as a scene in Milano, but I worked in Nigeria, in Africa, in Japan, India, all over the world with women. And one of the things that touched me so much is women's dreams. And I see how maybe many, many women have dreams and visions that are very, very often altruistic. It's about improving society, the companies, the families. So I'm thinking if women's dreams can be realized, it's completely clear that the world will be a much more harmonious and peaceful place. It's actually guaranteed. So therefore, we work on ourselves outside and also inside to dissolve the many blocks within us, as well as learn the skills and get the network without, within, uh, outside in the world so that we can actually have that impact and be part of creating this harmonious world that the world is so much asking for. And um, so, so this is all important. But how do we stay together here during these days we are here? Because yes, I mentioned we have to be present and I also have this classic card. <laughs> so if you have been doing before, you might have one of these cards that's on your table right now. And if you're new to win, and many of you are new to win, I want you to take it up. So there's a few little things that I'm asking you to follow when you are here so that you make this experience better for yourself and for the others and all the people that will be influenced by it when you return home or through the ripples we are already sending out right now. So first one is be open. That's the first thing on the card. And being open, we mean, you know, catch yourself when you judge. Some people say, don't judge. I don't believe in that. I think it's more important that you catch yourself when you judge, because most people judge a little bit. If, not, if they don't judge another, they definitely judge themselves. <laughs> so, so learn to catch yourself. So if you say, oh, this person is a very weird accent, or you know, this person don't do that, or I feel really bad right now. You know, catch yourself and try to just let it go, okay? And being open also means you can learn so much more. You can meet so many more interesting people. And then we want to be ready to connect. So out in the coffee break, go to someone you don't necessarily have met before, share with them. And when we say ready to connect, share not, you share about your work, but share also about your passion. Share, and maybe your work is your passion. Share what you're passionate about, because that spreads also more joy. And then we want to be ready to contribute, which is 
be a solution to another's problem, perhaps, and also be ready to share something you are dreaming of, something you have as a need. And then here we take some risk. This is the place also to share your new venture, your new dream, your new uh, problem, even <laughs> whatever it is. But share, take that risk. And also when you say you want to help somebody, you want to do something, you want to commit. I've seen on the win stage, the, the people who are most successful, let's say in all their fields and in all the different meanings of what successful is, are committers. They do what they say they do, whether it's to themselves or to others. So we want to belong to that group of people. And if you commit to something or somebody, but you see it's not a good thing, we never ever accept unacceptable behavior. That will only reinforce it. So we are also learning how to say no and how to put boundaries and be respected. So that's the other side of this. You know? And then there is a very important part, which is the last word on this card, I think. Yes. Which is this expect magic. There is always happening. Earlier this morning, I was listening to a song somewhere they were setting up, and I heard this song by Mika, I think, background. And I thought, oh, that's such a nice song. I remembered it. And then <laughs> I got tears in my eyes when Andrea started to play this song. I couldn't believe it. And, and, and this is expected to happen all the time, you know, um, that you think of something and suddenly the person is there. This happens a lot, particularly if you expect it. Or the song you were thinking about during breakfast were suddenly played here without that being said in word. I just was dreaming of it and it happened. <laughs> and this is a true story, so I want to say that. And we have had several of those stories going on in the planning of this event this year. I mean, this is a particular year for us and for all of you. And I know that many of you also working in big companies, it can be stressful in this year with supply chain issues and a war happening. And, you know, there are many things going on and it's not easy. And the freelancer, the small companies, you know, it's, it's not only easy. So we take risk, that's not only easy either, but it's so much easier when we collaborate. And it's so much easier when we actually trust that life will give us the solution. And I think during these three days is a fantastic moment for us to, or four days, five for some of you, to really experience that and really, really believe it because I know then it will happen. So on that note, <laughs> I think we are coming to the end of my talk. Oh, one more thing I want to say. Mm. So the theme, so this year we came up with the word creating harmony. Actually, started to work on leading in harmony. And then one day I was watching a picture that was from a previous conference and we have with John and Gloria is in the back of the room and, Glor and John is a composer <laughs> and you will meet him and he had me stay on stage and I saw this picture and I thought, wow, this is, if leader is like composer, they're creating harmony with all these different instruments. And, and that's us in some way. We are in this room now with all these different humans together, mostly women and some men. And how we can now be together during these days too in this harmony, like an orchestra. And I guess we need to talk to John, who is the real composer, and see if we can learn some tricks from him over the days. But, you know, John, can you raise up so people can see you? There you are. <laughs> yeah. So you inspired my title or the photo and yeah. And then we thought also creating harmony is so much easier when all these instruments and all these beautiful individuals are connected. And it's also so much easier if you are generous with one another. If you can feel safe, because even if I do a mistake around me, there is somebody to generously include me or empathetically understand me or who does a little extra effort to help. You know, so we want to be generous with each other, both here and in society. And many of you are the generous people, even generous with yourself coming here today. 
and then we want to be enlightened. And I don't mean only like spiritually enlightened, I also mean enlightened in the sense that we want to know things. We want to be awake. You know, there was a study recently that said that nine out of 10 people have biases towards women. So that means also a lot of women have biases to other women. So we need to work on ourselves to awaken to whatever it is we do to have a bias to a woman, including ourselves. So enlightened means also that, you know, to become aware of our biases. It means that we know things and it means that we are connected. So all of that in one word. So I think I like that word. Okay. So now I am, and I want to say we are now officially, uh, all of you uh, here to create harmony, connected, generous, and enlightened. So thank you for coming. And I ask Andrea to come on stage again. Thank you. Mm -hmm.